Good morning. Guess who overslept and is terribly late now? That's right, this one. I absolutely don't remember how I turned off the alarm. <laughs> Thank God it's not something crazy important in terms of not being late is the must. Meeting my friend. I hope she liked the script. Oh well, a script, a plan of the script. We'll see. Wow, she loved it. Yay. Yay! I was very worried. It's like, what if she doesn't like it? And then I have nothing else. <laughs> but no, she loved it. And we spoke more about it. Now I have to fill in the blanks for Tuesday. Uh, yeah, there will be two days. There will be two days because we added a new location that I was kind of thinking about adding already. So, yeah, two days. It's like this shooting is getting more and more expensive. <laughs> uh, we'll have to figure out all the film financing thing. Uh, yeah, and we will. I mean, people do figure this out, right? So, why can't we? Yeah. So we'll be fine. Moving on. Moving on. Love it. Look at these details. So beautiful. I can't. It's so beautiful. what I actually really like. It's to come in. It's even better from the back. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful you won't believe what happened the woman in the store she saw me shooting it and invited me to see it from inside my goodness it is so beautifully made yeah if she didn't invite me to come in I would I would never dare to come in I'm kind of terrified of such stores till I can afford them <laughs> I have even no idea how much that dress costs, but they are so my taste. You know, like I said before, a lot of these red carpet dresses, when you look at them up close, they're hideous. But these, oh, it's like all about quality, really good fabrics, and even up close, they look so exquisite. The make, oh my gosh. They're like my favorite store in Madison. I love them. I mean, I love them. I have nothing from them, but I always stop by their windows. If you remember, I showed, I think, a red dress. And it was amazing. They're terrific.
maybe one day, one day. Guys, I just realized that the designer of this store designs dresses in the style that I saved for reference for wedding pictures for my short film. It's the same style, basically. <laughs> now I'm thinking maybe somehow we can negotiate with them, giving them a dress for shooting the pictures and giving them, giving it back to them. I don't know. How do you even negotiate this? <laughs> I learn. I learn. I will learn. I mean, I did get myself Panera bread once for free to shoot in, and um, a room in at the Hilton Hotel to shoot in. So maybe I'm not that bad at it as I think. In negotiations, I mean. Well, guess who's tired as hell. So oh, crazy tired. I overslept today. I woke up like with my phone. I turned off both alarms. And yeah. I had such a weird dream when I woke up. My ex husband's friend. Like. I don't remember it like I saw it like through some camera as though somebody was watching them and me there were two of his friends and for some reason I was helping them to do something I don't remember what was like huge rolls of paper you know like wallpaper uh, but when somebody rolls it not that like the fabric roll so it's kind of messy but it's like the ends of it were red and it looked like blood and as though those ro rolls, they were actually not paper, but like limbs of, of a person. <laughs> Just what the fuck does it mean? My, my subconscious is going crazy. It's just so weird. It's such a weird dream. And as though we were like, like I saw it from a point of view of the person who was looking at us through either a camera lens or I don't know what there was like a little cross in the middle and you know all those like signs around the screen that was weird like really really weird really weird dream and yeah then I met with my friend she read the script she loved it and I'm very grateful to her for everything she said and for the input so now I'll have to work on those dialogues that were kind of hard for me to write. They didn't come easy, easily. And, um, and she's an improv actress as well. She's so good with just like throwing those lines and they, we wrote some of them down. Um, and I'll have to have something for Tuesday and we started also like throwing ideas of um, what bigger thing it could become and there were a few good ones and then of course I walked home for I don't know almost two hours then I came home and left again and walked for another two hours because I just couldn't stop this flow like creativity flow i had and i've got some scenes in my head and you know at some point i realized that even though this is not my story 
in terms that I'm not a victim of domestic violence and this is domestic violence story. I'm not a victim of domestic violence. But there is so much of me there in her, in the lead character. There is so much of me there. Like the words she says. <laughs> it's just so much of me there. These are my words. The thoughts she has, those are my thoughts. Some dialects, these are dialects I have with my friends or I have inside of me. And that kind of made me sad. And I didn't realize it at that point, at that time. I realize it right now when I stuffed myself with tons of unhealthy bad stuff and I feel like I'm going to explode. It's like, okay, not sweets, but I still find a way to do to myself what I usually do when I feel bad. I have to kind of fill the emptiness inside of me with something and unhealthy food comes to the rescue, right? Oh gosh. Now I feel miserable. One day I will figure out this eating disorder. But it's not like an eating disorder also. Now I remember the conversation with my therapist. It's just me trying to find quick dopamine because I feel down and I want to feel better. Oh gosh, I just realized the meaning of the word hi in the, like, like in drugs, right? People get high, it's like they increase their level of dopamine. I'm sure there were tons of scientists who discovered it much, much earlier than me. I will not even Google that because, yeah. But for me, this is eye-opening. Like, wow, now I understand why it's called high. <laughs> okay, okay, enough of discoveries for today. I'm really tired and I want to put myself to bed. Thank God it wasn't something really important today. Uh, I mean, meeting your friend and partner is important, but um, I mean, I could be late and it was okay. Thank God it was something like that. But I, I really don't want to put myself in a position when I'm too exhausted to go to something really important. So yeah. I guess it's Friday, right? Yeah, it's Friday. I hope everyone will have a great weekend and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye and as usual, thank you so much for listening.